everybody and welcome to the Safari Live pre-drive drive. We are out bumbling about this morning looking for all sorts of exciting things. Well, hopefully some exciting things as we bumble about. <clears throat> and uh, Byron is also out driving. Tristan is on walk this morning. And of course, I hope that you all remembered that we were changing times today. Because, well, here we are, aren't we? So, we're just going to drive around for the moment. We're going to in the end, I'm actually listening to the Game Drive channel, seeing if I can pick up any updates from the eastern sides all the way uh, sort of towards Cheetah Plains. And we're just going to check all the way down there. Maybe Shongile or Karula pops up this morning. That would be an absolute bonus. I definitely like to try and find her uh, before I go on holiday. Otherwise, it'll be a good four weeks before I see her again. So we'll go down and check from here all the way to Shibamu, check the pans and then go along Gari Main towards Twin Dams and have a look around there at one of their favourite spots and hopefully this morning we will be in luck. That's the plan. Craig is on the vehicle with me today. Here's Batman. Now there's lots of chatter going on in the east so we're actually going to eventually head towards Cheetah Plains. We're just going to do a quick loop here. We won't hang around unless we find something spectacular. I'm hearing the words cheetah and leopards being mentioned quite a large amount on the radio at the moment. I don't know, it's very intermittent but we'll have to get a bit closer. I'm actually surprised that I'm picking up their frequency from here. We're very far away. So maybe that means that somebody is out on the plains, not making any promises. They could just be asking if somebody has checked those areas. But it's definitely got me all excited. Craig, are you excited if you see a cheetah or a leopard? He's very excited, Craig. Can't wait, He's bouncing off the back of the seat. Sit down, Craig. Right, let's see here. So the reason why I'm driving down Zoe's is actually because Byron had said to me that he'd heard alarm calls about 10 minutes ago and then he sort of pointed and did this motion. So I think he meant in this area over here. I'm not quite sure, but I haven't seen any tracks just yet. And this is actually a much better time to be going out because I can see footprints on the ground. I'm not having to start with a spotlight and try and track the animals that way. So hopefully we'll have a bit more luck now when it comes to tracking, seeing as though we're starting at the right time, just as first light is, has come about. Let's see, nothing here. There's lots of coarser tracks. And white-tailed mongoose. But no hyena and no leopard tracks just yet. Craig, pick a road, except for this one going this way. We can go left or we can go straight. Let's go straight. straight. Okay. The reason why I said Craig can't pick the road to go right, otherwise we go back the way we basically come. We don't want to be doing that. We want to check different areas. I remember when I did my interview drive coming past here with Jamie and we had some delays tracks and we were trying to find him. That was pretty cool. Then we didn't find him, and then we went to Lions, we went to the Styx Pride where they had all eight cubs. I'll never forget that. Right. Okay, dokes, I'm going to say goodbye to all of you, and we'll see you in a moment.